Yes. All right. Hello, everyone. I am Rita Lavikka from VTT, Technical Research Center of Finland. I am very glad and, and welcomed here. Thank you for inviting me to present the survey results from the Accord Horizon Europe project that started in last September. So we have now ran like seven months. And uh, Accord supports the transition from the current manual building permitting processes towards digital and finally some automation. Um, we have a vision in Accord that in the future there would be like one single user interface that could connect both the building permit applicants and the authorities and everything would uh, work smoothly in the background. So there would be microservices supporting the decision making of the authorities. This is the big picture. Uh, we will validate all our results in five country demonstrations. We have just released our first newsletter. Uh, ACE will certainly distribute that to all of you. So please follow our results. Uh, we are a big, uh, big consortium consisting of 21 partners, research organizations, companies, cities, associations. Uh, one of them is ACE, as you probably now know. Okay, uh, then I thought it would be good to give some background information from Finland. So we just uh, uh, agreed on our new building act. It will be in effect 2025. So in less, uh, a, a little bit more than one year, it will require IFC based building permit process. And we have national IFC requirements. Uh, the act will also require building LCA assessment. And for that, we already have national requirements for how to do that in practice. And we have national emission databases for both buildings and infrastructure. And, and in the future, there will be some CO2 limits as well for buildings. Great. So now moving to the uh, state of the industry survey. So this work uh, was built on previous work from the Building Smart Regulatory Room and also one a DC Com project from the UK. Uh, it focused on understanding the views on, on adoption and benefits of digital building permitting and, and also how to achieve a wider adoption. And the survey is now closed. It was circulated through various means and we received 472 responses. Uh, first, some terminology. So what, what we mean by digitized uh, building permitting is the use of machine readable documents, maybe in the future, even the regulations, uh, some requirements, guidance, of course, IFC and GIS. And uh, what automation means, it, it can mean like semi-automation that it supports some parts of the decision making, or there could be even some automatic decision making, for example, regarding some structural um, calculations. Okay, then moving on to the results. So here you see that um, the survey was quite dominated by Italy. <laughs> so we got a lot of responses from there, but also some from Spain, Finland, Estonia. Um, then um, re regarding the disciplines, we received a lot a lot of answers from architects, so I thank you all, and from designers and also regulatory professionals. We will provide these slides to you later on so you can take a deeper look at them. And when we asked about the experience of the respondents, they said that they are more experienced in technical aspects, some of where also well knew something about commercial and political aspects. Uh, then when we also asked like how experienced they are in digital building permitting or per permitting in general, so most of them had some experience of building permitting or were even involved in developing building permitting processes in their, in their countries. All right, uh, there were several uh, answer options to, to the following questions, so I quickly also showed them to you because it's it's important information to understand. So you could opt for 
to, to have the current manual processes or have some automation regarding the information exchange or validate the information that you submit uh, for the building permitting officials or automatic assessment of some key aspects of the permitting process or fully automated assessment of the entire permitting process and finally kind of a fully automated building permitting. And now uh, when we are looking at our uh, spider network analysis, you can see that that parcel automation with human approval is what the, most of the uh, uh, on, um, answerers wanted to have. So it's dominated like here, automation and parcel automation here. Uh, as a summary um, from this first part, so there's a strong tendency towards parcel automation, but with human approval. Of course, what kind of repeating the same as what the previous uh, presenter was saying, uh, but there's also uh, arguments towards technological perspectives to having kind of higher outcomes. And this political perspective is lacking behind in, in many countries. Uh, then uh, looking at what is possible in the next 10 years regarding this. So there was there were some kind of differences between uh, project managers uh, believing that that higher level of automation is possible, but then again, the building permitting uh, authorities uh, thought that parcel automation is more pref preferable. And then looking at the countries, so you see here in the upper part, the different countries. So you see that there are some differences between countries like Finland, France, and Romania. Uh, they, they want to have towards more parcel automation, whereas less of the respondents were towards either full automation. Um, yeah, as a summary of the differences, project managers wanted to have more automation and regulatory professionals a little bit less automation. This is probably uh, not so surprising. And then there's uh, countries that wanted towards more automation with human approval and countries towards parcel automation. Uh, then looking at what, it, what are the desired outcomes from building permitting in digital ways. Uh, of course, these uh, time savings, as you can see here, the red line, th this is what is really admired. And then increased accuracy as, as the next important desired outcomes, but there are, there are others as well as like increasing certainty. Uh, then looking at the required technologies to digitalize building permitting, uh, there were kind of very similar answers here regarding standardized schemas, data schemas, or representing the regulations in certain ways, but um, Maybe the most stri striking thing was that artificial intelligence wasn't kind of a wanted, um, wanted thing. The same as maybe the, the previous presenter was saying that it is still a, a technology that is developing very fast, but we are not maybe prepared for that yet. Uh, then about... Uh, thinking about the implications of digital building permitting. So looking at the spider network again, so faster turnaround is clearly the most desired implication. And then, then there's this ability to pre-check information and reduce costs. And then some conclusions. So either full automation or parcel automation are possible in the next 10 years according to the respondents. The preference is maintaining final human sign-off regardless of the level of automation. Uh, there are some key uh, desired outcomes, time savings, increase in certainty, cost savings, and of course, increasing awareness of compliance during the process and then auditability. 
Um, some key obstacle, obstacles were also identified, like uh, differing processes between territories, of course, between countries as well. Lack of digital skills, especially in, in regulators. Uh, lack of software tools. So, uh, for example, in Finland, we only have like two online building permitting tools. So you have to, as a municipality, you have to choose between those. And there's no standard specification of, of design documentation. And there's some key requirements that the respondents wanted from, from these kind of digital building permits. So there should be a standardized submission process, uh, ability to link BIM to GIS, of course, and then a user interface that is kind of intuitive and user friendly. Uh, of course, a lot of training and support is needed and also open access to, to kind of these result data, the ability to use open data more widely in the municipalities. And of course, simple, clear processes. So as you can see, this digitalization of building permit processes is not a straightforward thing and it requires so many th things to do. It's not only about technology, but processes and, and learning how to do things differently. But I, I was given only this 10 minutes, so I'm thanking you all and please contact me for, for further information and we will share the slides with you. Thank you.